and welcome to B4. You, my name is Salil. This is Bollywood Box Office. I know people watch it very carefully. I know. Uh, yes, we're going to try and increase the number of repetitions of this as well, so that you guys can actually catch. I get a lot of those tweets. Today, it's all about Raman Raghav too, and about the man Nawazuddin Siddiqui today, who is such a big box office draw on his own. The film starts off with a fantastic, fantastic background score by Ram Sampath. It's a very EDM, trancey kind of background score. And it talks about Raman Raghav, this notorious killer in the 1960s, and then ends with this line: "This film is not about him." So let me clear that misconception. Raman Raghav is not about Raman Raghav. That's why there's a 2.0 next to it. It is Anurag Kashyap's version of a serial killer who was inspired by the murders, and that's the reason why he now chooses to become another Raman Raghav. That of course is played by Nawazuddin Siddiqui, as is evident in the trailer as well. Those who haven't seen the trailer will have really missed out on something. But the film is not about the greatness of this fantastic acting machine, Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Questions will always be asked: Is Irfan Khan perhaps the greatest? Is Manoj Bajpayee the greatest? Or is Nawazuddin Siddiqui? Or Pankaj Kapoor? Of these four from the Film Institute, who is the best actor that we've had? I can always debate this. There was a Nasruddin Shah earlier. For me. Eternally, they will always be Mr. Bachchan. But Nawazuddin Siddiqui, I think, has at least in this zone, still hasn't conquered the other zone that Irfan has managed to conquer. But in this zone, he is the best psychotic-looking, cold-blooded murderer you'll ever see. He's fantastic with this. Just the way he looks, he doesn't have to look garib. He just plays that. And since 80% of the movie is in the slums, it's in the darkness. You need that kind of character. But if in Badlapur it was Varun Dhawan giving him. Tucker in this film, Vicky Gorshan, boss, Masan finished, not bad critically. Okay? Then you did another film, Zubaan, in which you played a Siddharji. But of course, there also was a bit of coolness coming in there. The film didn't catch on; nobody saw it. But this film, you have come into your own. On Star Stop, you know, Anurag Kashyap mentioned how he auditioned just once, but there were five people that he shortlisted for this role. Vicky Gorshan is brilliant. The opening shot is him doing a line of cocaine. He comes into a nightclub and sees Shobita. Oh, oh, super hot! This 2013 Miss Earth is very hot, very natural, fantastic in front of the camera. She plays an able supporting cast to these two. But it's about these two. It's about Raman, that is played by Nawazuddin Siddiqui, who's looking for his Raghav. Now I can't reveal too much from this plot. Is Raghav a man? Is Raghav a woman? What is it? But I'll just tell you this. There's a bit of Ramayan in here as well. There's a bit of Sita. There's a bit of Lanka in here as well, and that's where this madness of Nawazuddin Siddiqui comes out. But Vicky Kaushal, mark my words, boss, you're a star for the future. He looks fantastic. Shan Kaushal's son, the action master's son, looks at home carrying this film forward as this drug addict. So similar kind of plot line to Urtha Punjab as far as the drugs is concerned, and what happens when you are on the drugs. But this film is dark. It's dingy. It's niche. There's a Quentin Tarantino-esque sort of feeling to it. The way you know he shows chapters. If you've seen Kill Bill, you'll understand what I'm saying. Now, Anurag Kashyap as a director is coming to his own and shown chapters. If Ugly was his high point as a director, I feel this is very close up there. It's not for everyone this film, but those that like this kind of cinema will love it. And a special mention to the mind-blasting, not soundtrack, background score of Ram Sampath. Fantastic. Three stars for Raman Raghav too. Highly recommended, but in a very niche audience. It is not, I repeat, not for everyone. As far as box office collections are concerned, dominated by Urtha Punjab, over 50 crores it's made at the box office. A super hit everywhere. Yes, the controversy helped it, but the film itself was mind blowing. Alia Bhatt and uh, you know everyone. I mean, she was a stand-up performer. Of course, Shahid Kapoor, fantastic. Every single person in the film, including Diljit Dosanjh, had just killed it. So congratulations to them. And we'll be looking forward to Diljit once again in Sadar Ji 2, which is releasing very soon. And they were actually going to clash, but they averted the date. Looking forward to that one. The domination has only been with this film. Finding Dory making about 10 crores at the box office. So even these small, you know, Hollywood film releases over here, big abroad, but small releases here do make some money. And now they're realistic threats to all kinds of cinema in Bollywood. Coming up next week, we've got another assortment. Shorgul, perhaps the biggest film of the lot, because it deals with a very sensitive issue, and that's where you know we're going to see whether the director will be able to avert controversy or not. Now, after Urta Punjab, 
Mohalla Asti and Haram Khor and other films that have got stuck in a legal battle with the censor board. Shorgul also had to take huge cuts because uh, it was looked at inciting riots between communities. Jimmy Shergill is of course there. Television, well, superstar Hitein Tejwani also in a prominent role in this. Ijaz Khan was last seen, of course, very big television actor, but last seen in Tanu Vanu, also seen in this film. So we'll have to wait and see whether this ensemble cast can actually pull it off. But that will happen next week. Plus, the lineup isn't ready yet. There are lots of smaller films that will want to come. It remains to be seen which will stand out. Till the next time, Salil Acharya, my Twitter handle. I will see you soon. And all your feedback, always welcome.